Question 8. It says here there are 40 litres of water in the barrel. The water flows out of the barrel at a rate of 125 millilitres per second. It reminds us, uh, and this is kind of important, it reminds us that one litre is a thousand millilitres. Work out the time it takes for the barrel to empty. Well, because there's 40 litres, 40 litres is going to go, it's going to be 40 times bigger, it's 40,000 millilitres. Okay? So we could use that fact, but actually I thought of it in a slightly different way. This is still a good fact to know and good to think about. If it goes through, so we need to work out either how much 125 millilitres flows out, or what I did, I just did a quick uh, calculation. I made a list of 125s. So I said 125 to 50 millilitres, uh, 375, uh, 500, and you can see where I'm going if I get up to 1,000, but let's just do it. Uh, 625, 750, it's kind of obvious, uh, 875, and then it goes down to 1,000. So each one of these represents a second because it flows out as a millimetre per second. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's a thousand millilitres. A thousand millilitres will take eight seconds. Well, that's one litre, isn't it? So it flows out, it takes eight seconds. Oops. It takes eight seconds to do one litre. Now, if that's true, if it takes 8 seconds to do a litre, it's going to do, we want to do 40 litres. So it's going to do 40 times 8 seconds to do 40 litres. So if that's the case, 40 times 8 is 320 seconds. That's how long it's going to take for the whole barrel empty. Now we just need to give it in seconds. We could convert this to minutes if we needed to. So we could find out how many 60s go in and how many seconds are left over. But um, as it is, we that, that's fine. We're done.